welcome back. So, the Civic has been brought home. First of all, what I want to do is get rid of those janky headlights that are on it. And I'll show you them now quickly, just to recap how disgusting they are. So, they're not horrendous. The black and white goes well. But the projectors and the angel lights, just not right. It's not the right style for the car. So, I picked myself up some second-hand facelift headlights. You can see they're all scummed up. They need a good polish up to bring them back to life. I'm going to head over to my mate's workshop. He's got all the gear to restore these. Let's chuck them in the car. So we've just turned up to my mate's unit. What I'll do is I'll do one headlight completely through all the stages, polish it up, and then we'll compare the two. Start off with the bucket of water. Bit of shampoo to froth it up a little bit. Lovely. So we'll start off with a bit of yeah, 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 yeah. We'll start off with a bit of 800. Bit of 800 wet flat. We'll um, fold it a few times to make it a bit handleable. Handleable? Handleable, that's the word, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So I've made the one sheet into four small ones to make it easier. We're going to soak the other three. And the one I'm going to be currently using, I'm going to get it all nice and moist. So get your, your moist bit of 800, grab your headlight, and you just you start rubbing. It doesn't matter whether it circles, straight lines. Keep her nice and moist. The wetter, the better. You'll see already, I don't know if you can pick up the camera, but the it's already starting to come off of all the, the residue. See already, from this main piece to the indicator part, we already see a good difference going on there. I'll run through of you doing the whole of one side of the headlight, and then I'll do the other headlight in my own time, because you guys just don't want to see that. It's quite a monotonous process. But boy, does it look good! You'll notice when you first start hitting it with the 800, it'll be quite grippy. And then you know when you sort of have scummed it off enough, when it starts to become smoother, and then you keep going. It's like if you've ever clay barred a car on paintwork, you'll feel like all the contaminants on the car and you hit it with a clay bar and you know when you've cleaned off the contaminants when it becomes smooth. It's a similar process really, you're just getting off the dead layer of plastic So with the 800, you want to knock it off till you basically get rid of all the yellow scum. That's 800, that's before. So already you can see a big difference, but 
from what I can see my eyes, it's so cloudy and hazy. So next, I'm gonna do the same thing, but with 1500, so it's a finer grit of the sandpaper to sort of eliminate the thicker scratches. So I've got some 1500. Do the same again. Got a small square, don't need the whole sheet. Get it nice and wet in the water. I put fairy liquid in the well, wash and wax, so I didn't have any fairy liquid. To make the um, water a bit soapier, and make all the bubbles makes it glide nicer on the headlight. So they're all hazy after 1500. But they look a damn sight better than the yellow. So I'm gonna hit it with 3000 Trizac now. So this is a 3000 Trizac pad. You normally put it on a DA. And the more effort you put in with this on the headlight, the easier it will be to polish. So that's just with 3000 tries that. Looks so much better already. Next step, polish. So this is where we're at now. This is 800 grit, 1500 grit, 3000 tries that, all wet flatted. Next stage is polish. I'm gonna be using some extreme cut raw with a machine polisher on the old fluffy pad. See where it comes out. So already a minute into polishing. It was beautiful as well. You can see where I've hit it the most part on this main beam. That is what we like to see.
So that's it. I've never personally done this myself before, but with a few helps from my mate Dan, a few tips, you know, got me through it. It just takes, fifth, oh, I keep saying 1500, 800 wet flat, 1500, 3000 trizac, and then a good thorough polish. Can literally bring headlights from this tired old janky state to fresh out the factory. I'm well chuffed with the way these lights have turned out. I'm gonna do the opposite one. I'll do the other one off camera because you know the score now and then the next fit will be actually fit in the headlights. Today is Tuesday. I did the headlight restoration on Sunday. Then yesterday, which was Monday, I came home straight from work and started doing some videoing and making some content for the headlight removal of the Chevy headlights and to fit the ones I've just restored. The camera decided to have a spaz, I don't know what it was, but the SD card's gone corrupt. I lost the footage. I managed to recover the headlight restoration stuff, but the stuff that I made yesterday to fit the headlights, I can't seem to recover it. So I can show you the headlights of what I've done, but unfortunately I can't actually show you the actual install. So the headlights are looking way better than those other ones. Much prefer the OEM looks. Unfortunately yesterday, when I was pulling this side apart, I did notice that in this front corner, the wing didn't never quite lined up very well with the gap of the headlight. And this car has had a front end shunt. This gap underneath here, there should be a support bracket that holds the bumper up and it's all, the where the crash bar is here, there's a like a T piece and that's been shunted back in, which has brought all of this down. So I will have the bumper back off at some point to try and pull it all back out and I'll show you guys then. Also because they had trimmed and chopped the wiring, what the wiring that runs to those side lights inside here, they've chopped that and added a chocolate block. So I need to get a plug or find someone who's breaking a EM Civic or EJ Civic and find a few components, a few plugs that I can rewire back in to run these OEM headlights again. But overall, I am well chuffed with how it's turned out. Comment below if I should spray the splitter black or leave it white. I plan on getting a new uh, import plate for it because I don't really like the UK style plates. I'm quite upset that unfortunately this has just become a headlight restoration tutorial. I didn't actually get to show you guys me actually fitting the headlights themselves. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. I have got a load more parts that I've been uh, storing up, such as I have a pair of Corbu Club Sport bucket seats that I've got to get to seat rails for, and then we can fit those. I have a AM intake. Me and this intake go back a few years. As if, of those of you who know me, I was running that intake on my Spoon Civic, the little D-series, and I brought it off my friend who had it in his B18C um, Integra Type R DC2, which is pretty sick. So me and the intake have a bit of history. I've also got these um, innovative engine mounts. They're <clears throat> raised compound in them, so they are fairly rock hard. I have a P28 chipped and tuned ECU ready to go in the car. I believe that's got a <clears throat> lowered VTEC. Uh, raised limiter, the limiter has fuel cut or something, I have no idea, I'll have to look into it or try it out but we won't do that until I've fitted all the parts I've got so far. Also got this 4 to 1 manifold as the one on the car at the minute has a stock one so we'll put this on and I'll, I do plan on getting a full exhaust system for it. Also in this box I've got some hard race front lower arms as the bush that runs through the suspension bolt is gone in that one so I've got full lower arms with bushes already in them ready to go. Anyway, I'm fairly good about the fact that I wasn't able to receive the footage or able to get you guys the content of me fitting the headlights because I do enjoy that sort of stuff. Um, 
as I say, we've got loads of bits to get on with. We've got so much parts to install. I'm just trying to get the car through its MOT before we start doing any full-on modifications, such as like bushes. Oh, um, when we get into it, I will go through the MOT list that it does need. It needs a fair bit. I was quite surprised when I took it in for MOT and it got a big fat fail, but yeah. Guys, okay. don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you want to see, things you like about the car, things you don't like about it, because there's definitely a lot of things I don't like about it, and I'm slowly gaining a few couple bits that I like about it. But that's it, that's, that's why we build project cars. So thank you guys once again, see you in the next one.